Hello once again YouTubers, welcome to more Silver Creek Falls Chapter 1 now. I gotta say, to just just to be honest, this is one of my favorite games ever. So I think now we are uh, <laughs> rummaging, rummaging through dead Sheriff Davis's home. I still don't, I don't, I don't care if he's dead, I still don't think this is right. Alright, this is it, Sheriff Davis's house. The famous man's home, I'm excited, I have a feeling we'll get to better... A much better idea of what's going on when we find his case files. Learn as much as you can about Lee Davis. Find his case files. Alright. Um, follow me, team. I just ran into a wall. That's fine. Oh, there's that gun on there. Get out of my way, deputy. Hello, lamp. All the lights are on. We must have left a... Uh, he must have left a rush. Yeah. Don't, I, don't, don't all sheriffs do that? Do you have any comments on the table? Uh, how about this here chair? Do you have any comments on that? No. What about these beautiful paintings on the wall? No. Okay. What about whatever the hell is on that desk? Go on the side tape on the bed. Okay. That's that's a glitch. Hey, <laughs> I spelled bedside wrong. Ha ha. Bedside table. Pretty intense. Do you see lots of violent crime scenes around? Crime. Violent crime around here, deputy. You guys didn't see that, right? Okay, you guys saw that. Okay, it says bed, bed, bedesty, bedesty. No, not really. Not really. Pretty peaceful town. These incidents are the first serious thing to hit this town since the tornado two years ago. Oh, what are you, Joplin? Wait, that was three. F no, that was two. No, no, two, yeah, four. <laughs> I don't know. Tornado? I'm a, I'm Inspector Douchebag. I don't know nothing about tornadoes. Yep, it was a. Yep, it was pretty bad. Some local businesses had to leave. Actually, the U.S. Army was looking to buy some land here before the tornado hit. My dog's like weird upstairs. I can hear him, just like pacing around. That's weird. Okay, did they end up buying? Nah, the tornado dissuaded them pretty fast. Oh. Also, a lot of that land was in contention. Apparently, the family that bought it was going through some legal problems. Legal problems? Yeah, apparently, years back, they thought it off that Cherokee tribe I told you earlier. Apparently, they swindled them and gave them a rotten deal for it. The U.S. Army didn't want to get involved and lost interest in the land. Oh, cool story, bro. Let's just keep on walking over here. Let's go into the kitchen. Let's make some good mood food. We, look at, we work at Arby's. All clean. Interesting guy. Yep, you don't find many of those these days. Mm. All clean, interesting guy. Yep, still don't find many of those these days, and I'm calling myself out. Oh my god, why do I have a... Why? Why do I do this? Make some food. Full, full fridge. If he was planning on planning to disappear, he would have let him do this out first. Not really. I mean, I mean, you would, you would, ex you would suspect that, but it's not, it's not completely true. <laughs> That's not completely true, man. All right, let's all go over here now. We're like in a marching band. Just like a marching band, literally. Okay, we're in here now. Hello, TV. Let's watch some TV. Boop. Is this his house or is this his apartment? Because uh, there's a difference between those two things. Okay, where are files? Wide note. Oh, hello, note. Another note. Holy crap. Again. Oh my god, I'm Inspector Douchebag, I hate notes. Different handwriting this time. Yeah, because it's from a different person. What does it say? If you want to know the truth, John 6.34. I'm going to guess that's something from the Bible. I ain't reading no Bible. That's from the Bible. How would you know that, Inspector Douchebag? You're Inspector Douchebag. You don't know nothing. You only know how to be a douchebag. And more douchebagness. Let's see if we can find one. No. The sheriff was a religious man, so I'm sure there is a Bible around here. Do I really have to look for a Bible? Note add to inventory. Do I really need to look for the Bible? Do I really? I don't have time for this. Download case files by L. Davis. Oh, is this like getting downloaded to my computer? Eh, sure, whatever. Let's see. Hmm. When I open a file, all that comes up is nonsense for text. Must be encrypted. Can you still copy the files into your flash drive? Yeah, it doesn't stop doing that. Very interesting. The man knows how to encrypt files and yet chooses to not lock them into his computer. Are you implying that he did that on purpose? Most likely, he didn't put, a, put up a password for the computer itself, and as 
as if he knew someone else was would use it. That's odd. Copy the file anyway. We can probably find the keyboard on keyword that disappears the code later. Files downloaded. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, all right. Cool. What about this keypad? No. Okay. What about this? What's this? It's a set of keys. There's no car parked outside, so I don't think those are car keys. Yeah, his car is gone. Those aren't his house keys either. As if, as they don't look like a, the, the copy I have. Best we hang on to these. Yeah, just hang on to ran some random guy's keys. Okay, so do I have any items I need to use right now? Um, let's take a look here. Um, I don't think so. I don't, okay, I don't think so, yeah. Alright. Okay, so we are just looking. Oh, look at these guns. Man, this guy was packing heat, huh? I am my Desert Eagle Beretta M9 and Remington 870 shotgun, all reliable classics. Oh, Inspector Douchebag, just shut up. No one cares, and we all know you don't know nothing about guns. Just stop talking. Wow, you know your guns. No, he doesn't. I know my guns because I have plenty of them. They're up my arms. They're on my arms. Uh,. Right next to my shoulder. <laughs> I'm in America. I have to. That is a true statement. Maybe the only true thing you've ever said, Inspector Douchebag. I still don't like you, though, because you're rude to Sarah. Who's basically who I am, because I am leading you guys. Oh, okay, we can't check out the other guns. All right, this is a parade. Oh, I'm getting messed up. All the lights are on. We Okay, yeah. Award of Excellence and Merit for Sheriff Lee Davis. For excellence in law enforcement, High Commissioner E Bomb. E Bomb! Pretty impressive. Or not. You know, but it depends on how you look at it. Lots of classic literature. This guy sure loved to read. I'm sorry that I'm clicking on everything I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> if that bothers you, I'm so sorry. Oh. Police reports 2004 to 2006. Those are not this year anymore. Okay. Oh, fire hat and fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher, I guess this guy was really ready for something, for anything, eh? Well, you know, it may be, considering you're supposed to have a fire extinguisher in your house, it's like, it should be like a law now. Have you ever talked to a firefighter and been like, yeah, I don't have a fire extinguisher in my house, and he just almost wants to just kill you? Or just like start your house on fire and be like, oh, hey, bitch, what are you going to do now? Almost too ready, right? No! I have a fire extinguisher. I don't know how to use it, but I have it. Medal of Honor awarded to Lieutenant Kalani Colonel Lee Davis, 7th Rangers Division. Sheriff Lee and Sheriff Davis was in the military? Yep, U.S. Army Ranger. How am I not surprised? So he was a Ranger. If he is dead, whatever killed him must have been pretty intense. That is, if he's dead. He's dead. But his car gone, it's most likely he isn't dead. He's, I'm surprised he left so many of his firearms behind. Because he's dead! I'm sure he's not walking around unarmed. Yeah, because he's dead! <laughs> he's not walking around anywhere because he's dead! Okay, let's save here. Boop! Okay. Where are we going now? Let's go over here. It's it's dark. I was going to play a horror game, but then the, it wouldn't cooperate. So, I guess I can turn the lights on now. <laughs> So I can see buttons. Boop. Okay. Cool. All right. U.S. Army Rangers Survival Guide. Oh, you're not gonna read it? Okay then. You little biscuit. Let me just walk through you for a second. Why is there random hay in this front yard? I mean, living room. Camping equipment. Tent food. Water and water person purifiers. Flints. Hunting knives. This guy was really was ready for Armageddon, huh? Yeah. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> the sheriff was a U.S. Army Ranger, though. Outdoors is, is in his blood. I swear. Inspector Douchebag, he needs to die. I mean, I know it's not like one of those games, but he needs to die. Okay? Because I don't even... I mean, that's the only thing I don't like about this game, is Inspector Douchebag. U.S. Army Ranger, eh? Interesting. How oh, is it now? Is it really interesting? Are you sure? I think we were here already. Okay, I think we got what we wanted. Um, any last thing? Nah, we're out. I really don't have anything else to go on yet. 
I should keep looking around. No, you shouldn't. And you didn't do that right. You said I should keep looking around. You can look in a circle. Okay, so what are we looking at now? What was this? This is an outlet. Okay, this is a painting. All right. You guys want? Is this what you wanted to look look at? Did you want to look at something specific? I found the files. I got the files for you. Wait, 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 am I supposed to actually find that Bible? I think I'm actually supposed to find the Bible. Okay. Bible. Book of stupidness. Where are you? I think that might be the Bible. No. Oh, hold on. Now, on the left eye, all the lights are on. Blah, 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 blah. Photos from Antarctica. Lots of classic literature. Blah, 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 blah. Photos from Antarctica. Okay. So, um, ah, uh, right. Okay, then. All right. Um, did I look all the way over here? Yeah, I did. Lots of books. There's a Bible sticking out from the rest. Good God. Thank you. Check passage in Bible. I'm pretty sure I have to, so whatever. Fine. John 634. Sir. They said, from now on, give us this bread. That's not what it says in the Bible. Don't believe this thing. I wonder what that could mean. Um, I, I have a pretty good guess. Most likely something to do with the keys, since he obviously left those for someone to find. No, he says, sir, give us the bread. Um, I'm pretty sure he, since, since you know, it's... You know, the new term, like, you know, bread didn't mean money. Uh, like, stacks of money. So I guarantee he wanted bread. Like, just regular, a loaf of bread. Um, sounds pretty, pretty normal. Kind of. <laughs> I don't know. The way you look at it. Most likely something to do with the keys, since he obviously left those for someone to find. Yeah, obviously. Oh yeah, the sheriff has a storage unit somewhere. This might be the clue as to where. Oh, really now? Really? Okay. So, am I ready to leave now? I am. Good. Let's get in the car. Where do you think Lee Davis' storage unit is? Um, in your ass? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. Um. Where, where would a... Ah, oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um. Let's go to Tinker Lane. I don't think his storage unit is there. Oh, okay, so, okay, so we don't actually go there. Taylor, I don't think it's, <laughs> oh, really? Well, how, how do I, oh, well, I was thinking Baker Lane from the beginning, actually. I get it, from the Bible, yeah. Oh, God, why didn't I not get that? God, the bread, Baker, God, ah, I'm so stupid. I don't listen to things. <laughs> Once again, didn't come to me on Twitter, so I didn't get it. Why am I not flashing my lights? And why are we... We almost ran into that place again. Gotta... Gotta be careful. Am I supposed to... Look at this table. This is it. We even labeled it, and he even labeled it for us. What's inside? Bios and all the victims and some old cassettes. Sheriff Davis used to walk around with his voice recorder so he could record any ideas he ha had. We should give it a listen. Do you have a tape player in your car? Nah, man. This car is only a year old. No tape player. <laughs> I love how we just like turned all gangster there. Nah, man. Nah, man. I have a player in my car. Let's go back to the hotel to get and to check it out. Cool. I'll leave the blood samples and evidence in the police station. I'll drop you guys off first. We'll keep Lee Davis's files if that's okay. Please do. Set tape added to inventory. So what, are we leaving now? Going to my place? Going to get a tape recorder? Video recorder? Tape recorder? Probably a tape recorder. Okay. See you! Yay! I am without Inspector Douchebag. I am of- Oh, god dang it! God dang it! Inspector Douchebag! I'm eager to play. Lee Davis's tape. Let's go back to my car first. That's how you know you have a sucky life. Wait, wait. Inside the hotel. Let's go back. What? Oh, oh, because it's in her car. Okay. I'm in the middle of the road. In the middle of the road. In the middle of the road. Police guy, you want to come back? 
run me over? Jeez, I've been doing a lot of working today. Sarah, tur <laughs> Sarah turns on a car and inserts Lee Davis's tape. I'm gonna do this like it was a. turn down the volume again because I just wanted to make sure you guys heard that in case you guys cared at all about that which I hope you didn't because I didn't that was a complete waste of my time all right let's go somewhere middle of the street let's go into the hotel room because apparently my ride's not here yet do 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 so what do you think it's easy to assume that the three cases are all related. After all, this small town hasn't seen anything major in years. Yeah, but no one could plausibly claim that the attack in the National Park was a wolf attack. Yeah, and the car accident really was caused by drunk driving and the guy just left his car and wandered off somewhere. Doesn't sound quite right, does it? No, also these creepy notes. The one Lee Davis left us was his, that's for sure. But the ones at the crime scene, I don't know. Think it might might have been Lee Davis? No, he was with the deputy at the time of the first crime. Also, I can't imagine such a decorated officer suddenly going on a murder spree. <laughs> I could. I just imagined in my head. It's hilarious. Okay, I've seen stranger things, but my gut instinct says it's not him. Besides, those tapes? He sounds really mystified and horrified by the cases. No, he sounds like a southern stupid ass who doesn't talk very fast. Did you get a quick look at the files? Very quick look. Did you notice all the victims were under 24? All college students from the same university. Yeah, we need to investigate who of them knew each other. But first, we should probably check out the evidence. Check it for fingerprints, etc. Yeah, check out the blood samples too. Isn't it insane that we are and that there are no signs of the bodies? All just huge blood splatters. I know, it's hilarious, bro. 
We have our work cut out for us. Yeah, you guys do, not me. As long as that amateur deputy stores all the evidence well, we should be able to crack this. You were pretty rough on him earlier. Come on, you know he deserved it. Chances are the trail has gone cold by now. Like I said, we got our work cut out for uh, for tomorrow. What did he tell you while I was getting coffee? He was telling me about how strangely Lee Davis was behaving after three cases. These cases. How he was recording on his tapes, taking notes. He wasn't eating or sleeping either. Very strange. Anyway, I'm tired. We should crammed a... Uh, we sure crammed a lot in the day. We could all and we could have split this into two days. But the trail would have gone grown even colder. I'm off to bed. Cool. See you tomorrow morning then. Okay. I'm gonna save here. Uh. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I have more games coming more sooner. More games from Steam and some games from Game Jolt. Yeah, I'm going back to Game Jolt now. <laughs> uh, haven't done any Game Jolt games in a while, so I'm excited to go back to Game Jolt games. Anyway, until next time, bye-bye!